Welcome to the next Lubuntu screencast. And in this screencast I want to show you Bluetooth support under Lubuntu 10.04. So let's predict I have a notebook with my little Bluetooth adapter. Um, almost every netbook has his own Bluetooth chipset right built in or if you don't have one or you have a PC then you might want to buy some of those little Bluetooth USB sticks uh, they can be quite handy if you want to connect your mobile phone and want to share data or want to uh, use your mobile phone as a presenter for presentations for example and this can be quite handy and I want to show you how to enable Bluetooth support under Lubuntu 10.04 so the first thing that you need to do is go to the menu Preferences, Synaptic Package Manager, and then simply search for Bluetooth. And it's one simple package that you need to install Bluetooth, Margaret for installation. It will install a lot of other packages as well. Hit apply, apply, and a few seconds later it will be on st installed and the only thing that you need to do is turn your Bluetooth on if you have a built-in chip or stick your USB stick with Bluetooth support uh, right in and then hit Alt F2 and type in Bluetooth applet minus applet hit OK and as you can see in the tray there's a new Bluetooth logo here and it allows you to do to set up a new device on left click and make sure that you turn on Bluetooth on your mobile phone hit forward and this assistant will then scan the mobile devices give you a list of all mobile devices in that are nearby and it will not only work for mobile phones, it will also work for Bluetooth stereo headsets for example and so on. So I have um, Bluetooth now on. Let's cancel this because I already activated my device. So this is assistant will give you a pin code. You need to activate your phone with. Just enter this pin code in your phone and uh, it's pairing with your computer. Then you have the option to send files to the device. Uh, let's send some files to my device or one file. Send this JPEG image here to my device. Hit OK. It's connecting. As you might heard it in the background, my mobile phone gives me a signal that someone wants to connect and send a file. I hit OK and as you can see it's quite fast. Uh, it's 500k image so nothing big here and of course you are also able to browse your files on your phone if you want to and what's quite interesting is that you can use your phone also for the presentation mode or as a mouse cursor replacement just hit connect here and your phone will ask you if you want to use this as a mouse cursor and I say yes I can now choose three different profiles on my phone at least it's in Sony Ericsson C701 uh, the present presenter mode that's for presentation so you can easily switch between slides quite handy I think the media player mode if you want to uh, control the media player I don't think that it will work but let's try it here live <laughs> with the GNOME Empire and let's load some music file from my data here. Ah, oh, every login. Oh, nothing in there. <laughs> Scooter, why not? So let's try the media player. As you can see, it's doing something. If I'm hitting one of the 
buttons, but it's not doing. Uh, I want to control the volume here, but it doesn't seem to work as so good. But as you can see, the mouse cursor is moving with my cursor keys on my mobile phone. So this is quite handy also. Um, ah, I can hit pause here with this button. I have a right click also available here. So full mouse replacement. Let's try the pause and button. This is the button 2 on my mobile phone. Ah, doesn't seem to work. <laughs> it's opening up the configuration, but at least this also works somehow. So it's not working with uh, all the media players included here, but the basic functionality is uh, there and I think it's quite handy. So what do you, do you need to know also? One thing you might ask is what's with this Bluetooth symbol? I only get it when I start it manually with the Bluetooth applet and Alt F2. But if you want to start it automatically with your session, go to the menu, choose preferences, choose desktop session settings. And here you have automatically started applications. And here you can set easily Bluetooth manager to start or enabled and then it will start with your session and Bluetooth is then available for you. So this is all I think you need to know about Bluetooth and connecting your mobile devices with uh, your computer and that's all for this screencast. Thanks for watching.